Okay, so I've just finished up at the Channel 9 Today show and I would normally go and grab myself a coffee as soon as I um, have finished and one of the cafes I love to stop by is just behind here. Now they sell these like amazing white chocolate coated coffee beans and they sell Florentines and all these like other little yummy biscuits and sweet treats. So I'm going to exercise that self-control and I am going to say no, go pick Rocco up and take him to school and wait until I either get to my mom and dad's house or get to my own house and have a coffee there and also not be tempted to buy really junky fatty treats, which I shouldn't be buying anyway. But I have to say I would really love a nice coffee right now. So after the Today Show, I picked Rock up from my parents' house and my mum very kindly made me like a bacon and avocado and tomato like focaccia thing. It was so delicious. And she also made me a coffee. Um, I dropped Rocco off at daycare. I'm now working from home, which means I can make my lunch at home. And still, I'm saving more money, but I realise there is so much temptation around us. Yesterday at karate, um, my girlfriend was wearing this amazing top. I was like, oh, I love that. She's like, oh my god, you should get it. It's on sale. I was like, oh my gosh, awesome. And then we both went, uh, frugal February. I can't. So just exercising so much self-control and not like caving in is really hard. Especially when things are on sale. Okay, so it's Friday afternoon and we are having a group play date with all the kids. And we have even bought dinner for the kids, which is a burrito kit. Hey. Um, so with like corn and cheese and tomato and avocado. Yes. And what else we put into burritos? Black burritos. And then also I've bought a bottle of champagne for me and my girlfriends to have. So all at my girlfriend's house, hopefully a really cost effective night. No babysitting, no expensive restaurants. Um, and just catching up with my girlfriends. I actually wait i'm so excited <laughs> okay so epic fail with saving money at lunch i ended up catching up with the girlfriend for coffee that was the intention anyway to cut a long story short we ended up ordering a meal however we ordered a really fresh healthy salad each and we drank sparkling mineral water and even though i blew my whole daily budget i did not feel guilty in the slightest it was so nice catching up with my girlfriend having one-on-one -on -one time with her kid free no distractions laughing just talking about stuff and it was great I did have um, also a little win, um, unfortunately at Woolworths expense, Woolworths system crashed so they unfortunately couldn't deliver my upfront monthly groceries at all, it just got cancelled and they wrote a really nice email saying we're really sorry for any inconvenience caused, you can reorder your, your groceries, they will be delivered and as compensation for any um, inconvenience we caused, here we'll be sending you a $50 um, gift voucher to spend at Woolworths. So it was no big deal. I didn't wasn't really inconvenienced in any way by reordering my groceries 24 hours later. They arrived this morning. And I can then use that $50 credit note um, sometime during the month to help save me money. So like really ahead of this and loving it. Okay, so we're off to Bondi Junction. I need to buy Rocco a wetsuit and he and I both need a haircut. I've packed snacks in my bag so that kids don't ask for any treats. And I've also got water, so hopefully I won't get the demand for um, treats and cupcakes and things like that. And I'm gonna be really strict and not let Rocco and his best friend um, try and convince me to buy them treats with my rubber arm. Okay, so we're at Bondi Junction. We are not going to deviate. We've got three things we've got to do. Get Rocco a wetsuit. Um, get buy some coffee and haircuts for Rocco and myself and I don't know if you can see these two in the background um, they're gonna be my handicaps because I will not be deviating and going and looking at any shops for myself if anyone watching has ever shot with children it is slightly um, painful with kids and when you like try things on look at things it just will not happen so I'm going to embrace the, the financial handicaps in the back of my car and I've told them if they behave nicely we will as a treat go upstairs to Bonner Junction where there is this amazing um, play center which is free 
Rocco is getting a haircut at Just Cuts and so am I. I absolutely love my hairdresser. He cuts my hair beautifully and really styles it nicely. But this month I'm tightening my belt and I'm getting my hair cut there as well. So this will be great. It just needs a trim so it shouldn't be too hard. Also on another note, um, those snacks that I packed for the kids, uh, half of them have been eaten and the other half are spoiled across my car. So a little bit of a fail there. And these two behind me are sitting in the $2 car. I've said no to them. I'm not putting dollars in there and wasting them. They can sit in there and enjoy it. And we're just waiting for our appointment at Just Cut, so I'll let you know how we go. Um, our trip to Bondi Junction was cut very short. Rocco had an incredible tantrum at the hairdressers. I'm talking kicking, punching, pinching, and even spitting. Um, it was horrendous and um, incredibly embarrassing because it was incredibly loud and I just happened to bump into an old friend who had the world's most perfectly well-behaved um, child with her. So I'm um, slightly dying but at least look I didn't get to buy the wetsuit, I got to buy the coffee. I'll go back and get the wetsuit on my own and I will go and get my haircut done when I'm child free. Tom has very kindly taken Rocco for a little chat and a bit of a walk and to discuss what happened because it is definitely the biggest tantrum I've ever experienced with Rocco. I have no idea how to handle this. Um, and I'm now going to go to the gym and try and like, I guess, de-stress, sweat all this um, anxiety out and like regather my strength and my um, sanity and thoughts. All right, so before popping to the gym, I am quickly ducked home to make myself a coffee and I made it with an espresso machine and I even bought chocolate flakes to put on top of my homemade cappuccino. All right, normally on the weekend, I would grab a sandwich on the run for Rocco and I to eat and that's really expensive when you grab something from a cafe. I went and bought from Sonoma a beautiful quiche Lorraine, which I've cut into little bits. I've eaten a couple of bits myself and I found some... Um, uh, the avocado in the fridge and an apricot so I'm going to cut it up into nice little bits and when Rocco and Tom get home Rocco can enjoy um, a nice yummy meal and he can hopefully go and have a nap and calm down after having his little chat with Tom but this is what I've made I've got to like chop it up obviously and finish it okay so I just finished a 45 minute workout I would normally go and reward myself either a juice or um, these delicious Nutella protein balls that they sell at Virgin's Cafe or even pop downstairs to get a chocolate strawberry but I'm not and actually it's not about money this time it's I realized I don't need to just grab these snacks on the run it's a waste of money and it's full of sugar and who knows not only may I save lots of money but I might even lose weight with this challenge